hello, I'm getting ready to go out and be sociable, which is quite rare for me at the moment. But I wanted to do this video because in particular, I talk a lot about building a community or building a network around you. And I wanted to get a little bit more personal with it because I'm going to a kind of like private ish invite only event and at this event is basically a group of like-minded business people that are gonna let their hair down network socialize together a bit and enjoy a few nice things at the same time so a bit of a backstory for this basically i've been in business now five and a half years and in that time i've met an array of amazing people and i've built a lovely little black book of people or as i like to call it a round table and these people I always check in with, they're friends, they're friends with businesses. I talk about that phrase a lot. And I realised a lot of these people maybe don't know one another or maybe they do know one another, but they don't realise I'm as close with each other as I am. So one of the things I started to do personally was we meet every two weeks now. There's so far like 10 of us, that's roughly the same amount of number of people, all from different industries, all of different ages. And... We meet every two weeks via video call to catch up, talk about what each of us working on and help each other as much as we can. And I started doing this now about a year ago. It's been one of the best decisions I ever made in business because it's such a group of like-minded people that I'm really good friends with. And I'd like to think because I'm friends with them and I've got things in common that they all can find things in common one another as well. Now, the reason I want to share this, particularly tonight because I'm going to this event, is that I started to expand this around my close knit of Roundtable. I wanted to get on other people's groups and networks and communities that do similar things to this. And this is what I'm trying to encourage with you. It's such an important thing to build these groups of people around you. And it's one of the best things you'll ever do. Because once again, it's like-minded people and it's that equivalent of you are as good as the five people around you. It's another one of, you know, network equals net worth. And it can be difficult getting into these circles. So that's why I originally created my own. That's now helped me get into other circles and WhatsApp groups and Telegram groups. And these things exist, but it's kind of, can be hard to get into them if you don't know they exist. So yeah, here's three random things about how to possibly find these communities or networks and how to build your own. I'm just rambling in this video, by the way. I've not scripted this. I just thought with me going to this event tonight, I wanted to jump on and just do some rough thoughts of what you can possibly do to do this for yourself. Okay, so first thing I guess is first. First thing I guess is basically create your own round table like I have, and you'll have your own circle of people. And hopefully someone watching this is Bigger than, I am, bigger than I am, and they've not even done this yet, but create your own round table, like I call it. And how you do this is basically think of all the people, whether it's three people, four people, 20 people that are like-minded around you and get them on a video call, but make it a regular thing. And I always say start with a video call because it could be around the country. If they're in the same city, you can meet up, but I'll go on to that. And get them on a video call with you and think of what you can bring to this group. What's the point of this group? So like ours, we say it's like a networking mastermind support group, basically, of friends that have now become friends. And I bring new people in from time to time for them to meet and they end up joining and so on and so on. So think of how you can do that. But what is the purpose of, of it? Is it for you to push one another? Is it accountability? Is it, you know, to help one another, support one another? Um, and it's probably that common thing that you all have, you know, it might be that drive and that grinding like mindset, that hustle culture. And honestly, get, get you all in a group. Don't get me wrong, I personally would advise putting like a cost on it or something to give some accountability for people turning up. Otherwise, it's just a group of friends getting on a video call. You want to give it a bit of a driving factor. But start developing this group because then naturally you can encourage the other people in there to hopefully bring their circles in that you're not already in into this as well you know one person at a time how i do it i normally say like introduce me first i can get a video call with them because how i've mainly introduced you guys is because of me getting on with you all i want to make sure that they tie in with that because that's kind of how it all started but just honestly get these people on a call like i said every two weeks weekly is a bit too much especially if you're all like entrepreneurs and you're really really busy um but you know, give some leeway with it. You don't have to do it as a structure or anything like that. Maybe a little one like ours, we do 
a catch-up at the beginning. So, you know, that roughly takes 20 to 25 minutes. So each person, how are you? What, what's going on? What you're working on at the moment is one of the key things that we talk about. Um, and, you know, just anything extra that you've got going on at the moment. Then we do like a breakout room just so we can actually catch up one another. So we'd have to worry about not talking to one another. We, we do it that way. And then the final like 20 minutes is just how we can help or, you know, how we can support one another at the moment. Um, one of the recent things in ours was that someone asked advice on hiring a friend. So we all jumped in that and just like advise each other on that. And then we're also there pushing one another and we're all striving for something. Or if business isn't going as great, how can we help one another? Um, so we give it a bit of a structure and we keep it to an hour. And um, we have got like a WhatsApp group as well that we all just chat in, have a bit of banter. But the purpose of it isn't to get business. Like I say, that'll happen in the long run. It's completely to put a group of like-minded people together that can support one another and help each other strive for the best. And if you have people around you that you do that with, tip number one, like I say, why don't you actually create your own little version of a round table and put them together? Okay, number two may tie in with these little things, cigars. I bought these for this evening. Been wanting to get in them for a while, into them for a while now. Um, and a few of the people that I'm with tonight like cigars. So I bought one to take with me. I bought my friend Joe one as well. And this is basically, number two is find a nice little club or bar or... And by club, I don't mean nightclub. I mean like maybe a members club um, that isn't Soho House nothing on it i do want to join soho house there isn't one where i live currently but there is one opening so no hit on soho house but and um, look for like a members club or a cigar lounge or a whiskey lounge or something along them lines i don't really drink whiskey i want to get into whiskey as well um, but look for one of them as well so number two is like look for a particular setting and the reason why is when you're going to these you are gonna find a group of people affluent people predominantly um, that you can probably get chatting to and socialise with there. And once again, there's no real reason for that other than expanding your... I say a lot of this is probably more like your personal network, more than a business network. So that's what I would personally recommend. And don't be afraid, as I have been, to go and not be maybe a smoker of cigars, but you're interested in getting into them. You can probably talk to people there. Where would they recommend to start? Um, what risky whiskies would they recommend drinking? What wine would they recommend drinking? I'm a wine drinker. Um... And start looking for these places. So depending on which city you're in, so I'm currently in Manchester, obviously. And there's, you know, there's hours are actually in hotels and um, like quite prestigious hotels where these things are. Like got these kind of places that have these assets, but it's going to them. And then once again, you can bring your close network or friends with you there and you can develop some high level social skills whilst being in there. And that's, for example, like this evening, you know, I'm like I said, I'm with a group of people that like smoking cigars, whiskey. Um, quite affluent people themselves. So I'm looking forward predominantly to be around them, see how they socialize in an environment like that. And it's gonna be really cool. So I would really, really recommend that as well as number two, which is kind of look for affluent areas such as like clubs and um, speakeasies, whiskey bars, cigar lounges. Um, if you're in London, I know there's quite a few. Um, so yeah, that would be number two. The number three is kind of similar to point number two, but less chilled evening vibes and more of an active club and sport aspect so if you think of a lot of these are going to be like oh so you mean posh boys like you know things like that like you know trust fund kids but yeah like look at a lot of these places where and um, these kind of people once again go and these clubs are more social active so such as tennis golf shooting maybe and um, paddle is a new one which is really cool i tried it out uh, i mentioned that in my life update it was really really cool i absolutely loved it um but look at going to social sporty places as well with these. Um, I've started doing this now. I absolutely love it. I'm shit, but I'm getting better. And I'm, the people I'm with, they can see I'm getting better and they're, they're mentioning that. I'm about to try tennis. Turns out my good friend Joe, once again, is a tennis coach. So he's going to show me how to play tennis. And if he's watching this, he's showing me how to play tennis. Um, but look at these places as well. Once again, look at these affluent areas. So it doesn't just have to be drink, cigar, if that's not a type of your thing. But you can go to sporting kind of social events as well and um, once again there's kind of a club element or conversational element with it and look at these things too and if you go back to point one you can start bringing this group of people you get together in this because you'll probably all want to do it and it's something i really would recommend so i've done a video before on how to like expand your network but that was more businessy i wanted to make this more social and I'd really recommend it. I've took this advice from some of my influencers and it's great. I really would recommend it. So yeah, there's point three. Look at something like a sporty club where you can maybe get a coach there as well. 
and you'll find an affluent once again group of people there. So in a form of a summary, like point number one is put your network into a group of some sort of like-minded people. You will thrive, they will thrive. It'll be one of the best things you ever do. Two was look for places like clubs, bars, things like that where you can do cigars, whiskey, affluent people in a chilled environment. And then three was like an expansion on two really, which is look for sporty possible places such as tennis, golf, shooting, paddle, them type of places. Because once again, they're probably two dynamics of different people that you probably really want to get into if you are in that mindset of doing that, which I am. So this video was a ran random one to do. Literally was getting ready. Hopefully I look quite nice, the full outfit. Um, I'll try and get some sneaky snips tonight of it. Um, it is very social this evening. It's the people going, but we've made it very social. Um, shout out to Ellis from EA Accountancy for that as well and um, for putting it on. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I might do a bit of an expansion of this video after it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'll try and get some snip um, snippets. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe is a big one. Turns out something like 90% of the people watching this channel haven't subscribed, so please do. And yeah, I've got my cigars and I'm going to go have some fun. So I will speak to you all on the next video. Bye.